Okay, that's very good. Except what number is top remata? Remata. Ta oh, that's plural. That's so plural. The words. The, the words. words. The words. Okay. The words which I have spoken to you. All right. And starting from here, this is the way that Dr. Kazarian wants us to do our who's and which is and that. Okay. So just keep that in mind. We can talk about the details later. All right. But the, I'm demonstrating now what Dr. Kazarian would. This is his particular way. Okay. But again, he's not going to be heavy on whether you have who or which or that. Okay. So the words that I have spoken to you are spirit and our life. Question. Esteem. What person is that? Third person. Was it singular or plural? Singular. So why is it and not They just do that with like yeah, words, right? like trade right. length or standard. Right. So this is a singular verb, is. It means he, she, or it is. I've seen as he, she, or it is. Okay. All right. In English, we have collective nouns like sheep. Okay. You have one sheep. Like there could be a sheep in this room, and I'd say, hey, look at the sheep. And then there could be a whole bunch of sheep on the hillside, and I could say, hey, look at the sheep. Okay? In Greek, <coughs> sheep is probata. Okay? It's a neuter word. All right? Sheep is a neuter word. Here's the thing. Here's the rule that, that's going on here. In Greek, this is the phrase. Neuter, plural, subjects. Take singular verbs. Neuter plural subjects take singular verbs. Okay, neuter plural subjects take singular verbs. Just write that down somewhere. That's what's going on here. Ta premata, premata, all right, is a neuter plural subject. The words. All right? And it's, because it's a neuter plural subject, the verb that it's going to have associated with it is going to be singular. That's why they have an ST here. Okay, another question. So neuter, no. Go ahead. Neuter plural subjects take singular, singular verbs. 